G'day, I'm Tim Thompson. Little gadgets are fun, aren't they? Well, I've been collecting some that have been sent to me over the past couple of weeks, and I thought today's the time to empty out the box and see what we've got. Let's get into it. First on the agenda is the lift and lock. This nifty little gadget uses a series of rollers to act as a block and tackle with high mechanical advantage and a nifty little lock that allows you to not only raise loads very easily but lower them carefully and under control. It's limited to 150 kilos but this is a perfect lightweight alternative to getting your heavy block and tackle and chain and wasting a whole heap of time going clickety clickety clickety. This promises to be fast and quick and easy to store in the footwell of your ute. Let's give it a go. Probably the simplest little device that we've got out of the whole group is the Grunt Versa strap. Now if you've ever been twanged in the head by an Oki strap, these little things might be of interest to you. Good little alternative, might pay to keep a few of these handy. I'm excited about this one. If any of you saw my post lifter review, you would know that I struggled to get a plate that would fit both the XL size stock posts and the normal size stock posts. Well, Walter's Fencing watched that and they said, Tim, we've got the perfect solution. So they've sent me this, we're gonna give it a rip. Now this little post lifting gadget from Walter's is particularly special. You might've noticed in prior videos, I've reviewed a post lifter that only fitted on the standard size stock post. Well, this one, because of its design, only uses the rear two fins of a steel post and has been made to fit both the standard size stock post and the stock post XL. Because it only uses the two rear fins, this common problem of bending the front tab is no longer an issue for fitting the post lifter. Let's demonstrate three ways that you can use this nifty little product to get posts up out of the ground and I reckon this one might find a way into your toolbox. Now it'll probably be pointed out that the lifting plate has a hole in it so that you can attach that securely to the high lift jack with a D shackle and that maybe I should have used one. The whole point of this trial is to put things through their paces and I wanted to see if just with the lifting plate and a jack I could get this post out of the ground and it was barely an inconvenience. So with a D shackle attached, yes it would be more secure but it's completely unnecessary. This thing just works. Easy as that. Next up, it was time to use the winch on the car and we convert the horizontal motion of the winch to vertical using a spare tire. This is a trick that works with all sorts of things from tree stumps to fence posts. Let's see how easy it was to use this new lifting plate with a winch on the front of a vehicle. Amazing how spare tires come in handy. Who needs a jack? And of course, the logical and obvious solution, a tractor. Three point linkage, a chain and a lifting plate and posts can't possibly give you. So with the Walters post pulling attachment, hard ram stock post XL versus 50 year old tractor, no contest. Tractors are certainly the easiest way to pull out steel posts, especially when you've got your hands on one of these. Now this next gadget is really good if you've just gone and bought yourself a shiny new toy and you're a little bit more decrepit than you used to be. Uh, I can't even remember being able to pull these damn things off the back of a ute by myself. The whole back's playing up. 
but I'm sure I was at some stage and that's probably why it's playing up. This little gadget here is a block and tackle set that uses nylon strap and the idea is that you can turn a tree, roof of a shed, a stockyard into a portable mechanical advantage winch. Um, and it's light and it packs away in the tub of your ute. Let's see how it works. I'll just back the ute into the shed. Once I got my ute underneath the rafter, all I have to do is hook this on to just about anything. It'll fit on chain, it'll fit on rope, it'll fit on strap, and in this case, I've got it attached to a bolt. Now all I have to do is lower it down, attach it, and lift. So now we've got the ute away and we've got this darn thing dangling in the air like a pirate. Now normally you'd need to get a ladder to climb up to the block and tackle. Not with the lift and lock and that's part of the beauty of the design. Because with this design it's like a Venetian blind. All you've got to do is pull the strap outwards and the thing comes straight down. and it's easily controllable. So the lift and lock works just like a Venetian blind. And if you need to be able to maneuver a heavy load into exactly the right height, this is the job for you. The good news is it comes with plenty of strapping. Even though I've lowered it about six feet down, there's still plenty spare. Um, of course, I do have to roll it back up again. Where I think this device comes into its own is out in the paddock. Let me show you what I think a good application is. Now we all know that taking wire off the back of a ute is pretty easy. But sometimes you get halfway through a roll and you need to put it back on the ute. Now if you've got someone else helping you that's easy, but what if you're on your own? It's situations like that that I think this little device comes in handy. Let's see how easy it is to get the wire back up onto the ute. So if I've been fencing in the paddock, I'd normally have a steel post available to me. All I've got to do is put it through the middle of my half-used roll of wire. Here's my tie-downs as slings. Sling her up onto a branch, back the ute under and she's on without breaking my back. There is one thing I'll point out, to get the mechanical advantage, it uses an awful lot of webbing strap. By the way, you can buy a new webbing strap for this if it ever wears or gets cut or anything like that, but get prepared to wind and wind and wind. So if you're like me and you were way too strong for your own good when you were younger and you've done your back and you're looking for a little gadget that can keep in the ute to help you out with situations like this. The lift and lock might be for you, but don't forget, there's a lot of strap to wind. Last but not least is the Versa Strap by Grunt. Now it's available in hardware stores. I think Bunnings carries them. Not sure about overseas, they're probably available as well. And these strike me as a good alternative to the Oki Strap or Bungee Cord being a little bit safer for bundling small awkward loads together like these steel fence posts and accessories. So they reckon this has got a 40 kilo capacity so that's not bad. Let's see how it goes.
So these have lashed these pipes together remarkably tight. You would still have to tie the load down to comply with road rules and common sense, but it's gonna stop them from separating and rolling all over the place with a rope over the top. Not a bad little trick and certainly a lot safer than a bungee cord, but I think there's an even more important use for these things. So let's go in the shed and find out how I'm gonna use this bundling my firefighting equipment. The best use I've come up with for this little gadget today, I reckon, is with my preparation for fire season. Like most people in the Southern Hemisphere, we're starting to think about that now, and I've got the pump all serviced, fueled up and ready to go. And we've got all of our other equipment like rakes and shovels and buckets and mops and everything also in a safe place, ready to go where everyone knows where it is. But there's one thing that bothers me with fire pumps and that is inevitably there's lots of hoses and when you're in an emergency situation you need to know where your hoses are. I'm going to use this, it's nice and brightly orange coloured, to attach the hoses to the handle of the fire pump. Now because this thing comes apart so easily when you want it to, if there's a fire or you're getting prepared for a fire or you're concerned about something that's going on, getting your fire pump set up is a simple pull and the hoses are free. Now I reckon this sort of thing is a brilliant use for a simple tool like the Versa Strap. So thank you very much Grunt for sending it my way and it's now part of my fire plan. Which brings me to a very important point. If you are living in the Southern Hemisphere and it's coming into summer, please make sure that you've contacted your local fire department. You have a fire plan. You know whether you're evacuating or whether you're staying to defend. And if you are staying to defend, make sure you've got the gear to do it properly. Once again, talk to the professionals. Get it all underway early. Guys, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget, there's plenty more content, reviewed products, and all sorts of other features on timthompson.ag. We'll see you next week.